I'm a very casual gamer, and as such I have very little knowledge of accessories for those who are serious about it gaming. Right until a few months back I had no idea that a product such as Mouse Bungie even existed, until someone in the comment section asked me if I could come up with a DIY solution of that sort. After a few months of R&D I finally have something to present. To build one you'll need about 40cm of my favorite aluminum bar, a small spring, a metal cutting saw, a pair of pliers, a file, a measuring tape, a marker, a hammer drill, a circular saw, a riveter, a soldering iron, a cat. Hold on, this is for a different project. First measure and cut the aluminum bar at about 37 centimeters. Use the measuring tape once again and mark the piece of aluminum at 22 centimeters, which will form the base of the entire contraption. File the other end of the bar just enough to fit the spring onto it. Don't overdo it, as you want the spring to tightly wrap around the aluminum. Attach the spring and move on to modeling the base. I use a can of clear coat with circumference of about 20 cm to form most of the circle. And model the rest of it using pliers. Bend the bar 90 degrees at the base at the previously marked point. Now, make a slight bend in the same spot towards the base front and another one at about 2 cm from the top. You can stop right there, use a book as a weight to hold the construction down and a piece of wire to fix the mouse cord in place. I myself went one step further and made a base using cement and a lid from ice cream box which served me as the form. Instead of cement you can try using concrete or tiles glue. Just take a note that it might take a while for the base to fully dry. As a bonus, here's another prototype I created along the way. It's definitely not the prettiest thing, but it gets the job done. To build one, all you need is a 2.2mm diameter wire I myself found in the gardening section at one of the big hardware stores and a pair of needle nose pliers. Cut about 40cm long piece of wire and make a tight loop at one of its end and another one 10 cm down the wire. This will be used to hold the cord in place. Make a 90 degrees bend 10 cm from the second loop and form a circle which will be the base. Make some adjustments so the base is more or less flat and you're pretty much done. Tuck the cable between the loops, throw the book on the base, fire up city skylines and start building your city like a pro. I hope some of you will find this video helpful. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.